maybe that's why men and women just don't work out. Black men and women. Explain. Because you just said, I mean, because we feel irrelevant. That's because you're trying to compete with us. We're not trying to compete with y'all. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah, I want to feel so aligned. Well, like I said, women need to work on things too. Like we do need to work on not listening to respond, but listening just to understand, you know, and that's what I'm trying to work on myself. Um, but sometimes I feel like a lot of the frustration and a lot of you guys not feeling like you can talk because I don't know, it's just. Y'all don't think like we do. You can never understand a women's perspective of anything. You just sat here and said, oh, men have done this, men have done that. Like women haven't done anything. And that's the problem. That's why we talk over y'all because we are always overlooked. Always. Men had, when men had to go to farms and men had to go to work and okay, women had to bear children and be close to their death, birthing the child. Do you know that's the closest thing to a woman's death is birthing a child and cleaning up and cooking and just being emotionally there for when y'all do have to go to the fucking farm or whatever you may have to work, quote unquote. Men don't even want to work these days. And we don't even talk about that. Not every, it's more women, I feel like, succeeding right now than it is men. I just feel like that because we've been sent back for so long. And that's why we talk over y'all. So, <laughs> there's so many things you said there. Um, the first thing I want to say is I agree that men could do a better job acknowledging women's contributions. I think we, we often like trivialize what women bring to our lives, what women have brought to the world. And I think we could do a better job there. I do also think as a consequence of a lot of different things, especially just, just nature, men understand women better than women understand men. And that's because in order for a man to get with a woman, whether he's looking for sex, relationship, whatever the case may be, he needs to have a, at least a working understanding of her, her, her psychology, what she wants, what she's looking for, what turns her on, the whole nine. Y'all don't really have to understand shit. If you're pretty, if you got long hair, big titties, a big ass, you really just have to like be there and you will be approached. You, you don't, and that's why like I've seen like shows or uh, things where they do a social experiment with women spitting game. It's terrible. You've never had to. So it's like a muscle that's never been worked. You don't, you don't understand men's psychology. All you understand is he's going to want to sleep with me, so I'm going to exploit that. But you've never had to develop, going to my basketball analogy sometime, because you can dunk. You've never had to develop a crossover. You never had to develop a, a jump shot. You never had to learn the playbook. You don't come to practice. And that's how a lot of women are. So because of that, it's easy to trivialize some of the ways men are because you don't actually think about it. You don't think about why is it that, what is at the foundation of boys, for instance, feeling like they can't express themselves, they can't cry, whatever the case may be. So I think women, especially nowadays, you have to go back to the drawing board because the kind of dudes y'all say you want, and to your last point, a lot of women want that dude. So how are you gonna stand out? A lot of women want what kind of dude? The dude who is a good leader and he's successful and he's intelligent and all that good stuff that women want. But none of y'all at the same time, this is the part that blows my mind. None of y'all, number one, you don't want to co compete for him. And number two, even when you get that dude, you pretend he's not. Because 
I'm getting complaints, not just from like I get complaints from the unemployed dudes who are like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she don't she don't submit to me and things like that. <laughs> That's I'm, the problem. I understand that, and I'm with <laughs> you on that. Problem. But I'm getting complaints from one percent dudes as well. I'm getting complaints from niggas who make six figures, who lead multi-million dollar companies, who are doing all because the right things. Because they want someone on their level. No, no, no. I'm getting complaints that the woman still won't submit to me. So it's like the, it, the woman isn't submitting to the broke dude because he's broke. She's not submitting to the rich dude because of, of another reason. She's not submitting to the emotional available dude for, for another reason. So it's like, y'all don't want to submit under any circumstance. That's not true. Okay. That's not true because, okay, there may be some women who just don't want to submit regardless because they want to do their own thing. They want to make their own money. They want to, you know, be independent. That is not me. I feel like if he's showing me things that I can submit to, like, I, I mean, you know, just... It could, I mean, sub, submission is so different. Like for, it could be different for everybody. Like submission for me would be, you know, maybe going to see somebody late at night and having to be tired for work in the morning or um, getting up and making breakfast for somebody, you know, before they go to work. Um, I mean, submission could be a lot of things for different people, but I feel like if he's doing the right things and he's there for you emotionally, then yes, maybe you should submit a little bit. But <laughs> but at the end of the day, that goes back to what I said before about women have been the underdog for so long. Like I feel like this is us just wanting to be heard finally. Like we don't have time to submit right now. We are trying to make more money than y'all. We're trying to make sure we're straight if, I mean, we can't just depend on you guys fully. Like you have to have that backup plan. Like what if you're not there? Like, I think that gets in the way of submission too. Like a lot of what ifs and like, what if I have to do this by myself? Or, you know, I need to know how to, handle myself by myself without him, without needing him. So, so let me ask you this. I'm not talking necessarily about you in particular, but women, black women in general, how's that working out? What do you mean? How is it working out? How's that working For out? me, it's working out great. Cause I don't have to deal with shit. I don't want to deal with. Do you get to deal with shit you want to deal with? <laughs> I get to deal with no shit at all and just be happy with myself and doing my own thing. So you, you, you want to be like, that's not top tier for me. If that's what you're asking, like, I'm not, I'm not going out in the world trying to figure out how I can submit to a man. I think that's what y'all don't realize too. Like we have our own things we have going on just like you guys do. It's not just about submitting all day. I think, I think that's a beautiful point because that that's a theory that I've had. I think, as much as y'all complain, ain't no good men, I don't think y'all actually want one. I don't think we're actually looking for one. That's my point. I don't think y'all actually want one. It's not that we don't want one. We desire to have someone to come home to and to talk to and to be there for us and to protect us. But, but you I, want none of the responsibility. We want that. No, we want that. It's just that we don't have time for it because of the world and what we're going through right now and us being so far put so behind. So if, if, if I said... I want to make six figures. I want to have a nice office, but I don't want to work. Do I really want a corporate job? That's not the same thing. It is the same thing because you guys want the benefits of a good dude. No. Okay. Explain to me. I feel like that's like saying, okay, I want to make six figures. I want to do this, but I'm not going to have friends. I'm not going to go out on the weekend. I'm not, I'm just going to strictly stick to but that's, but that's my doing, point. That's my point. Like things come with trade-offs. You can't have your cake and eat it too. If you want this, you have to give up that because you have to pick what do you want more? Do you want to make six figures or do you want to go out on the weekends? But people who go out on the weekends all the time typically don't make a lot of money. And people who make a lot of money typically don't have time to do bullshit. 
But they want that more than they want this. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, typically people that make more money don't have time for bullshit. So one, I say that because one little thing with men, women nowadays is I'm out. I don't have time to figure out if you're going to fix the situation or if you're going to get your life together right now or not. Like, I feel like if you approach me, you should know what you bring to the table. Like, I feel like that needs to be eventually like a conversation. Like, what can we do for each other? If we can't, then maybe we should just not be dating. Or, you know, date. and then I think dating is confusing for y'all. It's very confusing for y'all because just because I date you don't mean that I'm expecting to, I, that I expect you to like protect me or like be there for me or anything like that. Like I'm dating to figure out if you have those qualities. It doesn't mean we're going to be together and I'm going to submit to you like the next day. I'm not going to cook you breakfast the next day. Just like you wouldn't pay my rent the next day or you wouldn't, you know, pick up my son from school or whatever the fucking case may be. Like it doesn't come overnight. Like you have to figure each other out and even figure out if you want to submit. Are you ready? And stuff like that. You know, it don't just happen overnight. So you don't go into dating with any expectations? Yes, I do, but I don't go into it looking to submit to that man. No, 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 not not because submit, it's supposed to be fun. Saying. It's supposed to be fun, first of all. Like it shouldn't be like I'm. I am going into it looking for something, but I don't want anybody to feel like you know we have to get married after this first date or anything like that. I'm not talking about that because you mentioned you don't expect him to protect you. You don't expect him to do not this. on the first date. Nope, I don't. So, so a man that you're out with, that you're spending time with, you, you, you feel like he has no obligation to you in any kind of I way. I feel like men don't protect women anyways. It's not so true. So that's why I feel like that. It's not true. Y'all are the main ones that downgrade us. Explain. Black men are the main people that, that put black women down. I know you hear it all the time. Black people are the main ones talking about black people. All the time. And I say that because you don't hear a white dude talking about a black woman not submitting. You don't hear that. I mean, you don't see it on social media. You don't. Yeah, that's because black white dudes don't deal with y'all on that level. They do. On Trust that me, they do. On that level, no. They do. Explain. I'm a woman that has dealt with plenty of white men. <laughs> so... They don't. They're... So what do you what do you think I'm saying when I say white men don't deal with you on that level? I don't know. What do you mean when you say that? I mean, white men will fuck you. But as far as walking you down the aisle, statistically, that's not happening. Nobody's marrying black women statistically in large numbers. Mm. So that's what I'm telling you. I can't I can't talk about every individual. So I have to look at big data and on a big data scale. Nobody's marrying black women. So, like, even this whole thing with Jack Harlow, uh, he makes us feel protected and shit like that. Cool. He's going to try to fuck you. But on a large scale, Jack Harlow's are not trying to marry black women. How do you know that? I have a lot of data that I look at. And some of the data also shows me that the same things that black men complain about our women, white men complain about it, too. They don't, don't necessarily say it. In the United States, that's what statistics say. Mm -hmm. So when 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 men and the thing is, black men are actually looking out for y'all, because again, I don't like, think so. Okay, <laughs> Ex explain. I, I don't think so, because just look, listen to this conversation with you. Like, black men do not want y'all. I mean, just think how we have to, uh, that would that's called something. Like when somebody says something long enough to make you think that black men don't want us. No, I didn't say that. So, of course, we feel like we don't want y'all either. But I didn't say that. But you just said black men are not marrying black women. I said, white men are not marrying yeah, I said, black women Yeah, I said either. nobody's marrying black Nobody women. Nobody is. Because of you guys' behavior. What kind of behavior? So, number one, you're disagreeable. So we're supposed to agree to everything. 
No, that's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? Disagreeable means that you say no immediately. You're combative. You're belligerent. The bad attitude, the, the talking over people, the waiting just for your turn to respond as opposed to listening. These are things that are consistent. Then again, I've been privileged to talk to a lot of black women and these things are consistent. So when we see the numbers playing out this way, it's not a surprise because to your point, and I don't think you realize what you said, black women are spending more energy trying to be men because to, what you said is you're trying to compete with us. No, I didn't say we're trying to compete. You didn't say those words. I said we're trying to get on the same level. That is competition. <laughs> That's not competition. <laughs> Explain the difference. I shouldn't have to work the same job as my male friend and get paid less. That's where I'm coming from. Like, I feel like we should get paid just as much as y'all. We should be treated with the same respect as you guys receive. Under the certain circumstances, women are paid the same. No. That's what the numbers are saying. You know the difference? Nah, statistics say. The difference, uh -huh. the difference is, number one, and I actually like research this stuff. Number one, women tend to not negotiate. So when it comes to you go get this job, John go gets this job. John, especially if he's a white man, he's going to negotiate. He's not going to take the first offer on the table, but women tend to take the first offer. So that's one of the discrepancies. Number two, women and men tend to not take the same type of jobs. Women are working in healthcare. They're working in uh, the humanities, psychology, shit like that. Those jobs make less than STEM. Men typically work in STEM. So again, like we have to look at the numbers and make sense of them. But this idea that women are just getting paid less off top, Perfect example. Motherfuckers think WNBA players should make as much as LeBron James. Because they both play basketball. <laughs> I mean, they should. Name one WNBA player. <laughs> Just one. Why? That's why they don't get paid as much because as LeBron James. Because they're not James. put on the same level as the NBA. They are. They play on the same courts. Sometimes. They don't, no, sometimes. No. Yeah, sometimes. No. But again, but <laughs> this, it's not, this no. is the point. You can't even name a WNBA it player. I can't name an NBA player now. Yes, you can. No, I can't. <laughs> Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. I don't know who yes, that is. Yes, you can. No. Yeah. <laughs> This is Cap. But that's not the so, point. So, so, the point so you're is, saying because I know LeBron James over Candace Parker or somebody, but that makes it where they shouldn't get paid equally. Absolutely. Because, because they decide to put us on a lower level than you, than men. Who, who put them on a lower level? Whoever made the NBA. That's not how it works. LeBron James gets so, paid what he gets paid. Why should men get paid more than women in the NBA? Because people go to NBA games. People don't go why to Why don't WNBA. they go to NBA, WNBA games? Because they're boring. <laughs> why are they boring? Why is it boring? Because it's women? Because they can't dunk. They're not as athletic. They're not as fast. They're not as strong. It's not, it's not a fun watch. And the ironic thing about it, the women who are the most critical about it, they don't even watch WNBA games. So you're saying NBA gets paid, you know, by the seats and stuff like that and... Okay. Right now, I mean, shit. It, it, and I can agree with Y'all understand it when it comes to shit like OnlyFans or IG models and shit like that. Right. The IG model who has more followers makes more money. Yeah. It's not about her being a woman versus if you have more followers, you can combat, command more money. So even women saying they should get paid as much, you can't name a WNBA player. You can't give me a stat line. You don't even know when their finals are. So I how should they make you, you do? <laughs> No, I don't. Exactly. So why? Why? Because the thing people don't realize is the only reason the WNBA is still afloat is because the NBA keeps loaning them money. <laughs> if the NBA wasn't helping them out, there would be no WNBA. Okay, you're right. And the worst part about it, even you said you said they don't uh, they don't give them the same platform. There have been times where. NBA players. They don't give them the same platform. There have been times where they NBA don't. players shouted out WNBA players. <laughs> like, yo, number nine is nice. Number nine gets mad talking about, I have a name. You got 10,000 followers. You better be glad Andre Iguodala said your number. Are you serious? Yes. No, he should say her name. She's irrelevant. Maybe that's why men and women just don't work out. Black men and women. Explain. 
Because you just said, I mean, because we feel irrelevant. That's because you're trying to compete with us. We're not trying to compete with y'all. You are. I'm not. I can say that much. Okay, what are you trying to do? I told you, I don't, if I have a man, I don't want to be like an independent woman. I want to be, I don't want to say dependent. Oh, God. <laughs> I want to be submissive, I guess.